Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you're going through a bit of a problem situation here. You are facing a lot of unexpected obstacles and delays to your plans. You've been making a lot of plans for the future. You're having coming up with a strategy on how to handle things, but there has been some obstacles and delays. You've gone through some kind of temporary uh, separation uh, recently so that is uh, maybe you're trying to get back to this person but there's been a lot of things happening and you haven't managed to reconcile with this person yet it looks like you're going through a period of depression in the past there's been an ending as well and you know you've got that temporary situation so it looks like some kind of relationship that you had has come to an end and you are going through a little bit of a depression depressive phase uh, it's causing a lot of anxiety and stress, um, all this separation, all these problems, these unexpected obstacles are causing anxiety and stress in your life right now. But you will eventually be fulfilled. It looks like there is some sense of fulfillment coming in. It looks like things might be turning around for you soon. So these are the energies for that two weeks or those two weeks. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Romantic Tarot, and this is for the main read. I have shuffled this deck. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, you've got the eight of rods over here. So things moving on, or well, you're moving on, really. It seems like you and your partner have lost um, interest in each other. You all seem to have be going your own separate path ways. It looks like, you know, you can see there's not even that sexual um, attraction anymore. Uh, the other party seems to be doing their thing. You seem to be doing your thing or the other way around. Uh, but you're not interested in each other's lives anymore. Maybe you're feeling a little bit trapped as well within that particular relationship. But it seems like both of you are pursuing different things and uh, you're not interested in each other, even on a sexual um, basis anymore. So it seems like there's some kind of parting or separation and you all don't seem to be interested in each other's lives anymore. You've got that Ten of Pentacles over here, so it seems like that relationship has come to an end. If it has been a marriage, uh, this has come to an end, because generally the Ten of Pentacles talks about the endings of, uh, you know, a relationship that's usually a marriage or linked financially, rather. Maybe you felt that that person was too controlling. They were watching your every move and trying to control what you were doing, and also controlling things behind your back, and you were not very, very happy about that. So it seems like that relationship has come to an end, and you've gained your independence you've got this queen of pentacles now you could have been dealing with a fire sign person over here so this could have been um, an aries leo or sagittarius person that you have ended a relationship with uh, maybe this person has been a bit uh, of a bully and maybe you haven't uh, connected with this particular energy or this particular person uh, it certainly seems like they ha are doing their own thing um, and uh, you know it was due to the fact that uh, you know um, they seem to be uh, you know in charge of um, the Queen of Pentacles seems to be a very dominant energy over here, and maybe they're a bit of a bully, and you were not really happy with that particular uh, relationship. So it seems like you have parted company because of that. Now, there seems to have been a lot of arguments and fighting that was going on. There was a, a big competition between you and the other person. There was a power play going on. And maybe the other party has been seeking comfort in the arms of other people. So maybe, uh, you know, you're not happy with that. Maybe they uh, were going around and having affairs with other people or interests in other people. But there was certainly a lot of chaos, a lot of drama that happened uh, within that relationship with this five of rods. And it seems like that relationship has come to an end. You've got the death card over here. So it seems like y'all didn't get along very, very well. There was a lot of drama that happened. 
and that relationship has come to an end. You're feeling very, very lonely. This is your card. This is the Queen of Swords. Uh, you see, you feel very betrayed. There's a lot of backstabbing that seems to have gone on over here. A lot of pain, a lot of hurt, and you're trying to get on over that. You feel really betrayed, um, and you're really determined to, uh, you know, get over the situation and move on with your life, it seems. You're trying to take back your control. There seems to be a loss of communication with this person. The sword is on the ground over there, so you, it seems like, you know, you may have severed ties completely with this person. So going into the future, you've got the Hierophant, and this is a need for you to get some support and some advice from somebody that you trust, uh, somebody that will, uh, you know, it could be um, in the form of, uh, you know, professional counseling or even somebody that can give you that advice that you need. Now, Hierophant could be, uh, you know, maybe somebody from your spiritual uh, teachings or, you know, going back to your old views um, about what you believe, your belief system. Uh, um, you know, you need to find comfort in that. So you are questioning that. There seems to be, uh, you know, maybe if there were, this was a marriage, it seems like maybe that particular marriage is now coming to an end. Um, the end of a commitment going on over there. So it looks like there was a divorce that happened there. Now, um, what's happening with you? It seems like there's a wheel of fortune coming in over here. So things are going to be changing for you. It looks like maybe there's a new relationship coming in for you. It might be a very sexual relationship. And you seem to see uh, to be very um, um, enthralled by this particular person. So uh, there's somebody that you're very interested in. And it looks like the wheel of fortune coming in to bring that relationship in for you. Um, you've got the uh, Knight of Pentacles, so you are very focused on your work, you're focused on your money, and you're putting all your energy and efforts into that, into your career. So what's in your mind? It's about money, it's about making your, establishing yourself and achieving your career goals. So that seems to be where you're focused. Your focus is on money, and it doesn't seem to be focusing on any kind of relationship at the moment. You're hoping to succeed, you're hoping for some kind of promotion to come in, so that is where you're focusing all your energy, and you're working pretty hard with that Knight of Pentacles to get to where you're going. So going into the future, you've got the six of rods over here, the three of, uh, sorry, the empress card over here, and the magician. So with the six of rods, it's about, uh, you know, being in a relationship, but still wanting to have your freedom. So this is what you, you want out of a new relationship coming in. It looks like, you know, you're going to be pursuing a relationship that's very sexually based, and that gets you away from all the difficulties that you've been going through. Uh, but you also want your freedom, so you don't want to be trapped within re that relationship. It doesn't look like you want to make a commitment in the relationship. You just want it to be more casual, um, so that you can have more freedom. Maybe you've been, you felt very tied up in this old relationship, and you don't want to pursue that anymore. You felt like a bird trapped in a cage of here, but it seems like you want your freedom. So this new relationship coming in for you is going to help you get away from that situation where you went through that whatever difficulties you went through. The Six of Rods is about victory after going through a lot of difficulties. So it's going to bring you out of that situation, but it's going to allow you to have a lot more freedom. Uh, you know, within that rela uh, that relationship. And uh, you've got that Empress card over here. So this is achieving everything that you want. So you will get your independence back again. And it looks like, you know, you want that. You want your financial independence. You want to be in control and in charge of your life. And you do want your freedom to do whatever you want. So that is what's going to be coming out of this. And you're going to be working, uh, you know, pretty hard uh, soon. The Magician card is about being very busy, maybe focusing a lot more on your career, manifesting, communicating with a lot of people, but focusing on that. And maybe even focusing on getting a new relationship. There's a new cup over there. So this is where you're going to have your manifestation going on your career and maybe uh, focusing on getting a new relationship that is much more emotionally fulfilling for you. And this is a brand new beginning as well. So you're leaving behind that old relationship. This is moving away from it, uh, getting your independence back and now focusing on manifesting your career and manifesting a new emotional relationship that is much uh, more... Um, uh, you know, it's, it's something that you want. It's something that you've been looking for. So the Wheel of Fortune coming in, it is. It seems like it is going to be bringing in some new relationship, uh, more of a sexual relationship coming in for you. But it seems like your main focus is going to be on your career at this particular moment. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Archangel Power Tarot.
and you've got the star card over here so dream come true believe in yourself the end of a difficult situations so you're throwing out all that negative emotions you can see she's emptying these cups over here you're following your own star your own destiny and you're moving on from this old situation and it looks like you're being divinely guided as well on how to get there you've got the chariot again moving away from an old situation and uh, determination and self-control career advancement acknowledgement of success by others so it looks like you're going to be pursuing your career more there might be a home move you might be moving home completely or even buying a new home uh, and starting afresh after this relationship has ended and uh, the queen of michael is about uh, coming up with a new strategy you know exactly what to do the benefit of experience a time for your career rather than relationships so it seems like you are going to be focusing a lot more on your career you're determined to get where you're going through you want success you want money to come in you are working very very hard and it looks like that's where your focus is going be for the next few months at least uh, so it looks like you ended this relationship you're recovering from it and it looks like you're going to be spending a lot more time focusing on your career uh, rather than focusing on any kind of commitment you do want your freedom uh, with this uh, six of rods um, and you don't want to be trapped or you don't want to be caged in a relationship uh, you know, it seems like you are happier to pursue a relationship that's more sexually based or more casual than uh, going into something long term or long, something that is committed. So uh, more of a career focus, it seems, um, and uh, less of a focus on a relationship. Um, so I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.